Okay, this is how you use an Apple configurator. It's uh, free software, as you see there, Apple configurator. It's free software that you can use. It's uh, very similar to Apple's, uh, Apple service utility. I think it's service utility, hold on. Yeah, it's Apple service utility. And, uh, and that's what the Apple geniuses and stuff at the Apple store would use. This is for the consumer, this is for you. If you own a MacBook at home, your own personal MacBook, uh, a school, a small business, anything, if you don't want to take it to the Apple store, stay tuned. This is how you restore or revive uh, a laptop that just won't start, that just stays in a black screen and won't turn on. So first off, you download Apple Configurator. I'll leave a link down below that gives you where to download it on the App Store and a whole list on how to use it, but I'm making a video version of it. So first things first, I have an Intel here. Now with an Intel, it's different than, than an Apple Silicon to put it in DFU mode. It'll have it in the description, but I'll, I just have an Intel at this point in time to show you guys. So it's in DFU mode, as you see. So how did I do that? I hit Control, Option, Shift, and Power all at the same time. I held them down, all four at the same time for about 10 seconds, and have this pulled up, and you'll see DFU pop up here. That's, I don't remember what that stands for. It's been a hot minute since I remember the description, but, so, if you're looking to revive it, so, so let me tell you really quick. If your Apple, if your Mac, it doesn't matter if it's a, MacBook or Air or a Mac Mini or a, what's that? There's a Studio, the iMacs, any of them. Does not matter. What you do is, uh, if you have one Mac and say like with this MacBook, it would power up and it would even chime and then it go and shut off. What you're gonna do there is, well, you can't boot into anything. You can't boot off of a thumb drive. You can't boot into recovery. What are you gonna do? That's where this comes in. If you can't boot off of a disk or a recovery disk, a thumb drive, of course, um, and you can't boot into recovery mode, you're gonna go on ahead and do Apple Configurator. It's just easier. It just it'll, it'll work. I've had great success with Apple Configurator and um, with the ASU. So you put it into DFU mode. On Intel's, you'll want it plugged into the bottom. And on silicones, you'll want it plugged into the top. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to go down to advanced. And underneath advanced, of course, you have restart device, shutdown device. Sorry, didn't say that you're out of frame. But you can do all these. You can revive is the one that I'm going to show you. But you can also restore from backup, prepare, any of that. You can also do update. You can try update first, but so if you hit revive device, it's just like hitting revive device with your phone plugged into your Mac. It'll revive it. It won't hurt your data. Um, and what it's doing is it's rewriting the firmware to the to the logic board. Now, I haven't had massive success with revive device. I've had maybe thirty or forty percent or survival rate with that. Um, so you'd hit revive device. And what you'll see is this will come up with the Apple logo and the loading bar. Loading bar will be over here. They'll match each other and it'll finish. I recommend doing Revive device first. See if it works. Test your luck. It takes 10, 20 minutes. If that doesn't work, then you're going to go on up here to Restore. I'm not going to do either one of these because I just barely loaded new OS on this and I don't want to do it again. But you'd hit Restore. And that's actually what I did to fix a uh, MacBook just like this, actually. It wasn't this one I thought it was, but it's not. And uh, I hit restore. And by doing that, it wipes the drive, wipes the firmware. If there's any uh, crypt apps or anything on there, they're gone. It, it just brand new, just like out of the factory. And so by doing that, it just fixed it. So I recommend doing the Apple configurator if you, um, if you tried resetting your PRAM, if you tried doing other things, if you tried turning it off, back on, tried plugging it in, and still won't work, um, I recommend Apple Configurator. Go watch my other video. I know it's a really long video, but if you're having a Mac that won't start, watch that. It'll give you all the steps.
But this is uh, just how you use the Apple Configurator, and there you go, that's how you use it for an Intel or Silicon. I'll leave the link down below so that you guys can go through the steps. And uh, thanks, comment below if you guys need any help, and check out my other videos and see if they help you as well. Thanks. One more thing. If you decide, if you uh, plug it in and you see that's in DFU mode, that's a, that's a good thing. That just means that someone messed with your buttons. It's in DFU mode. If you want to get it out of DFU mode and you decided not to do Apple Configurator, or if you found out it is stuck in DFU mode. Okay, and if you want to get out of DFU mode, you unplug it, leave it for about 15, 20 seconds, and then you're going to hit the power button. You could also close the lid if you wanted to open the lid. That could turn it on. Um, plugging into an alternate power source, like plugging into the wall. That usually works a lot. And you just go on ahead, and then you just hold down the power button for a couple seconds and turn it on. It's probably gonna make a liar out of me. So all I did was close the lid, open the lid, and then hit the power button. And it's it's pretty simple to get out of DFU mode. So if you find out it is in DFU mode, just close the lid, open the lid, after unplugging, of course, and then hit the power button. Or leave it for sitting for a few minutes and then walk, you know, walk away and come back and turn it on. But there you go.